Today I'm going to show you 10 fall DIYs. I am really anxious to start decorating for fall, but I haven't yet. So here are some ideas to start crafting for fall. I'm going to be myself or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm making a really fun and unique wreath with this wreath form from Dollar Tree. I've been having it for a really long time as you can tell. It's not really going to matter how this part looks as far as the wreath form goes because we're going to go ahead and cover it with some Dollar Tree burnt orange or dark orange ribbon. I'm just going to start off with some hot glue, wrap the whole thing with it, and then end it with hot glue. Now I'm going to use this really thick yarn from Hobby Lobby. It was originally $7. I just went a few days ago and it was on sale. So I got it around $4, which is a really good deal because I was about to purchase some from Michaels because I actually went there before Hobby Lobby. So I'm going to create a braid out of them and I just cut three long pieces. I'm going to tape the top part to help it stay in place while I braid it and just create a simple braid. So now I'm just going to glue this ending part and then I will bring my wreath back out and measure about how much of the braid I need depending on where you're going to put it and then cut the opposite side and glue it as well. I'm wrapping it on the outside of the orange ribbon and I'm using my hot glue for that. You could also do a braid right here like I'm doing and also one on the inside of the orange ribbon um, just there's so many different ideas for this So I bought a pack of words like this from Dollar Tree. I think there were six in there. I'm going to use this one for the wreath and I also bought this paint from Michaels on clearance for like five something. It was originally 11 bucks. So I know you can't really tell. It's probably going to look the same color once I paint it but it's just a raw wood color and I'm going to go over it with this khaki deco art suede paint. <laughs> now I'm making a bow to go on the wreath. This is some Hobby Lobby ribbon that I just had found. They have 50% off right now, so this was about $2.50. I'm going to use this one and the two others you see. And then I also end up grabbing an orange one with polka dots. And I'm going to show you real quick how easy it is to make this bow. I'm using this big ribbon first. And I'm actually going to do this to three of the pieces of ribbon. I'm just crossing it like this. And then I will bring that top part down to the center where I crossed it and we're going to use pipe cleaner to tie the middle. It's just easier like that and you can tie the middle and then just keep adding on to it. Between each ribbon you just twist and it holds it in place. I'm adding the solid khaki or tan ribbon next. I made it the same way and I'm just going to twist in the center and then I'm going to make a bow with the polka dot ribbon next. And even though I already showed you how to do it, I'm just going to fast forward through it real quick just so you can see it one more time. And 
And just to give it a little more detail, I'm adding this piece, but just like this, I'm not going to make a bow out of it, just on the ends. And all I'm gonna do is just add it right here, and all I have to do is twist the pipe cleaner. I'm going to diagonally cut the ends, and then I will use my lighter to also light the ends so they don't fray apart. You can actually leave the bow just like this, but what I'm gonna do is take more of that orange ribbon and it is cut in half so it's not so thick. And I'm just making a knot and this is actually gonna go in the center just to give it a little more detail. I will add glue right underneath the knot right here and also in the back. Lastly, I'm gluing the bow right here on the top left corner and then I will add the hello fall sign on the bottom center. For the next DIY, I am using three crates. These are actually from Michaels and they were only 99 cents each because I couldn't find any at Dollar Tree. What I'm gonna do first is paint them with this orange paint that I found at Michaels. And I'm gonna glue the three together. So I typed out It's Fall Y'all in my Cricut Design Space and I'm just going to add that one to each little crate and it is kind of small but I wanted to do it in cursive so um, I had to do it that small because it's in cursive. If you don't have a Cricut you can easily write it on there or use many of the Dollar Tree stickers. I'm going to add some of the stuff inside of those little crates. I have these Dollar Tree maple leaves with two little white pumpkins and also those colorful dark berries. I love those berries. I'm gonna have to pick up some more if I can find some. And then the little hay bales. I'm also gonna use those two different colored florals from Hobby Lobby. I changed up the decor in the top crate again. Just get it the way you want and the way you like best. For DIY number three, I'm doing a little trio of pumpkins. So I have this big pumpkin that I've had for years and years that I'm gonna use. I have some Dollar Tree ones, but I'm gonna use those for a different DIY. I also cut out a pumpkin with some cardboard and I just grabbed a cereal box to do that. I'm cutting out a third pumpkin with it but I'm gonna make the shape a little bit smaller and more wider. So I got this idea from Hot Umble Pie, I think her channel is called, but she is awesome. She makes some really amazing Dollar Tree DIYs and I saw that she cut out some pumpkins with some cardboard so I thought that was perfect. That is definitely a great idea if you want to save money because if you can't find any Dollar Tree pumpkins this is definitely a great idea. So I picked up three paper pads full of craft paper from Michaels. They had a really good sale. They might still have it. I'm not too sure but it was buy one get two free so i got all three for 20 bucks and originally each one is 20 dollars so i'm going to go ahead and use this one for the big pumpkin and all i'm going to do is set it on top and trace it and then i'm going to glue it on with my glue stick 
Before gluing it on though, I'm going to paint the edges of the pumpkin with my khaki paint. So while that dries, I am now taking this ribbon. I say it like that because that's what it said on there. It said fold leather ribbon and it was in the ribbon section. And I am going to cover it. Well, I'm gonna cover this pumpkin with it. So I'm gonna do the same thing, trace it out and, and hot glue it onto the cardboard. And the only reason why I'm using hot glue instead for this is because it's a thicker piece of ribbon. It's um, faux leather, so I'm gonna use that instead. For the third and smaller pumpkin, I'm gonna paint it all with my khaki paint, and then I'll be adding some detail to it. Now that that's dry, I'm adding the glue stick on very heavily on the edges especially, and then I'll also hot glue the leather piece to my second pumpkin. So to my last pumpkin, I have this Hobby Lobby ribbon that was, if I can see correctly, I think it was $1.99, but it was half off, so I got it for a dollar. They kind of look like small little rosettes. I'm making four lines on here to kind of just make it look like a real pumpkin. And lastly, I just glued those two pumpkins on top of the biggest one. Do y'all remember these pumpkins? I haven't seen them this year, but I do have two from last year, so I wanted to DIY it. I saw a really cool pumpkin at Hobby Lobby, and I wanted to kind of recreate something like that with this DIY. So what I'm going to do first is just remove the stem, and I'm going to paint it with that same khaki paint. And I just did one coat because I'm going to be covering the whole pumpkin anyway, but you are going to kind of be able to see some of the pumpkin that's why i decided to paint it i forgot you don't have to remove the stem you can actually leave it that way you can hold the stem while you're painting it first things first we're going to make a hole on the top and the bottom because i'm going to be covering most of the pumpkin with some raffia from well i had bought some from dollar tree and i also have some from hobby lobby fyi if you hear little weird noises in the background we just got a puppy and he's kind of loud but um, he's like teething, so he's biting things, and then he sometimes just whines out of nowhere. <laughs> At first, I was adding the hot glue on the raffia like this and then placing it inside. But then after a while, I just started to add the glue to the kind of like the inside of the pumpkin and kind of on top. And then I just used the tip of a little painting brush to help me not burn my hands and for it to stay in place. So I'm gonna do this, flip it around and do it on the opposite side so it's wrapped around. This part is a little tedious, I'm not gonna lie, but it is very like calming and therapeutic. So if you really love crafts, you kind of have to have patience with things like this and then you start to get excited when you see it come together and it start looking cute. So this did take me a little while and like I said, I didn't completely cover it. You can do what you like, maybe cover a little less than what I do or more if you want. So I cut up some strips of that faux leather and I'm just going to end up putting on four, four pieces. Remember, 
Now I'm gonna add some Dollar Tree yarn to it, but what I wanted to do was braid it. So I'm braiding it the same way by just adding a piece of tape on the end just to help me do it a little easier. Now I'm gonna use two different Hobby Lobby ribbons. Remember they were half off, so one was 150 and the other one was $1. I'm putting these two, one on each side of the braided yarn. Now I'm gonna take this ribbon that I have been having for a really long time. I used to make hair balls for my daughters a long, 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 long time ago when they were really small. They are, well I have three girls, but the older two, I used to make them all the time for them and uh, they are 15 and 13. And then my smallest little girl is nine and she don't even wanna wear bows anymore. So I have so much ribbon, so I thought it'd be perfect for this. I'm not necessarily going to make a bow. I'm just really going to put these two strips of ribbon together and tie it with a pipe cleaner. So my strips of ribbon doesn't fall right in the hole. I decided to take a piece of that thick yarn that we used for the first DIY and add that. And then I'll add the strips of ribbon on top. I haven't made bows in so long, I completely forgot what this cut is called, but you basically just fold the ends in half and cut at, at a diagonal, and it looks like this. I'm taking the lighter again so it doesn't fray and just burning the ends. Lastly, I'm using these two strips of that dark orange Dollar Tree ribbon, and I'm going to make a quick bow, and all I'm doing is folding it like this, pinching it in the center, and then I'm gonna use those pipe cleaners again. It's just super easy that way. I'm gonna do the same thing to the second ribbon and then just add the two together. My whole world Since baby, baby, I got you. So wake, 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 wake me up inside. Wake me up. For this next DIY, I wanted to kind of create a corn stalk or a mini corn stalk decor piece. So I'm just grabbing a vase and I'm going to glue on some raffia. So you can use any vase depending on how big you want it. I'm making a small one. So I'm using this little Dollar Tree orange vase that I have been having for a while. So I just added glue on the base and put the raffia right in the center. And don't worry about it sticking out at the bottom because we're gonna trim that once we're done. It's pretty simple and now that we have all of it on there, we're just gonna trim the bottom real easily going along the bottom of the base. And then if you see any pieces sticking out where you don't want it to, you can glue it back down or trim it. And we will also fix the top part. If there's something going too wild to one side, you can just kind of bend it the other way or just bend it the way you want it to go. The last couple parts are very simple. I'm just gonna wrap it with this ribbon that we used earlier. And then on top of that, I'm gonna wrap it with some of that white yarn from Dollar Tree. For the next one, I'm using this Dollar Tree pumpkin that I had from last year and I'm going to sand down the glitter very well and then paint it that khaki paint.
While that dries, I am staining two of these wooden tags with my antique wax and my bristle brush is wet. So I found these tags at, I believe, Dollar General. It was either Dollar General or Family Dollar and they come in a pack of six, I believe. I sanded down the wooden tags and they're gonna go right here at the top. I'm just gonna glue them right there. And I'm gonna add this really pretty green craft paper at the bottom of the pumpkin. I'm making another bow the same way I did earlier. Once you see it done, you know which bow I'm talking about because I completely forgot the names of these bows. And it's gonna go on top of the tags. And then I'm gonna add some of those berries. So the last thing I did was take these really pretty Dollar Tree stickers and I'm just going to add two, one to each tag. I'm just going to pick which ones I want to go with. They're so, so pretty. It's the first time I've seen, well, I've seen some like this at my Dollar Trees. This next one is a pretty simple DIY sign. I grabbed this from Dollar Tree and even though it already looks pretty cute, I'm gonna remove that leaf that's on there and I'm gonna add some more really pretty craft paper. I'm just obsessed with all the different kinds that are in these pads and I'm gonna glue it to the background. But before gluing that down, I did sand down the area a little bit because there was a little bit of glue stuck and then some of the paper that they had on there was kind of lifted and just to make sure it's completely flat before adding my glue stick. To create a more darker orange or more of a burnt orange, what I did was just put some orange paint down and then added a couple drops of that antique wax and I'm painting for leaves with it so the leaves come in a pack at Dollar Tree so instead of using my Cricut I decided to use some raffia to spell out fall on the leaves so very easily I'm just using my glue stick to do that and I will also add my glue stick on top of the raffia For the next DIY, I'm gonna simply decorate this little vase. Again, you can use any size and you can easily do this with many different types of ribbon. So I have some braided raffia and I did that very easily again with tape like I've been doing throughout the video. I spray painted the little vase with some white matte spray paint and then I'm gonna use this really pretty ribbon, the one we used on the wreath from earlier. So I'm gonna wrap it around this right in the center and glue it and then I will add the braided raffia on the top and bottom of the base.
Super simple, right? I love a simple DIY. <laughs> This next DIY has to be one of my most favorite fall DIYs that I've ever done. It came out so, so, so pretty. What I did was grab some more craft paper and oven cover from Dollar Tree. What I'm gonna do is trace it, the complete circle, and then I am going to cut out a centerpiece so I just have the top and bottom piece of the circle. So I measured about eight inches. And what I'm gonna do is just leave three inches on top and three inches on bottom. So I'm cutting out two inches in the center. I love using glue sticks for craft paper because it doesn't bubble up. But throughout all of my DIYs today, you could definitely use Mod Podge on top of it if you don't want it to mess up or get wet and if you also want it to last longer. So I'm going to add the two outside pieces as you can see. And then you can also see that I have some Dollar Tree, more of those Dollar Tree stickers. I'm gonna pick some and put them in the center. So I went ahead and did that once I glued these two pieces down. But then I kind of was like, no, I don't like the color. You really can't see the stickers. And I completely forgot to mention, I spray painted this oven cover or burner cover because it was, I think it was white or, yeah, I think it was white. And so I sprayed it like this galvanized type of spray. So what I'm gonna do is cut out another piece of craft paper, a, a different color and add that in the center and then reapply the stickers. I also have these round little stickers from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna give them two coats of this khaki paint and I'm gonna add it onto my sign. Now I'm gonna make a different type of bow again and I'm just gonna let you watch because sometimes it is just way easier for me to show you rather than me trying to explain. So I'm gonna start with the bigger burnt orange piece first and then I'll just keep adding to it. So I cut the ends of each ribbon like I showed you earlier. I just folded them in half and cut it diagonally. I'm gonna place it right here in the corner with some hot glue. And then with this ribbon, the little rosettes that I showed y'all earlier, I'm gonna outline the sign with it. Hey, you made it to the 10th DIY. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm gonna be using the bamboo cutting board for the last simple DIY. I was actually gonna do something completely different as far as using my Cricut, but it just didn't work out. This way is actually a little easier for me and I know it's gonna be easier for y'all. I'm gonna outline the cutting board with this craft paper and glue it down. 
So if you stay till the last DIY, write the number 10 in the comments below. That will let me know that you specifically stayed till the end. I absolutely love pumpkin pie. I am obsessed with anything pumpkin and I've always been like that since I was little. My grandma knows how much I love pumpkin pie because she always made it during the holidays and I would eat like way too much but anyways that's why I wanted to make this little pumpkin pie recipe cutting board. I'm just using my handwriting and writing down the recipe onto the craft paper and once I do that easily glue it on with my glue stick again. So I'm going over it with a sharpie and then of course if you're going to have this in the kitchen you want to add Mod Podge on top of it. Lastly I added some of that thick yarn to the back of the cutting board and I looped it that way if I want to hang it up I can. Or if not, it can just sit on my counter, but it would look like a little pumpkin stem. I also covered it with a piece of ribbon. That way it would stay more secure and then just look a little more cleaner. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I appreciate y'all. I am really excited for the holidays and I hope y'all are too. Stay tuned for more DIYs and I will see y'all in the next video. Gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now.